Hello, good friends, it's the Twi King, and welcome back to more Diddy Kong Racing Adventure 2, as Diddy sets to take on the mirror courses of Sherwood Island, starting with one of my least favorite of them all, Whale Bay. Because it's valued at the least amount of balloons, and when it's valued at the least amount, it would normally mean the easiest course, but for me, it's not that easy. And especially when you get off to starts like that. And now that you got the ship coming on the right side of the of the track rather than the left side as an adventure one. And you start off with the unnecessary magnet item when you got no one in front of you. And I really don't like how there has to be so much adjusting when it comes to making sharp turns or even just trying to get a balloon. If you saw me doing that, get getting with that blue balloon. I wonder if I could finish this in under a minute 20 seconds. And I'm pretty sure I will. I, I think I'm just trying to be way too bold here. <laughs> but it's like... Ooh. Would I consider the ship a shortcut? I wouldn't say as much, but... But... I just don't like how there has to be so many sharp turns for this course. <laughs> That's pretty much why I don't like it that much. <laughs> well... Time to move on to a car course. At least just to take a break from the hovercraft ones. I... Not really, not really a big fan of the hovercraft courses, I will admit. <laughs> But now that we got this course coming up, it'll definitely make things a little bit more transitional. I forgot to zoom the camera out when I started that one race, but it was pretty much zoomed way back out anyway for um, Whale Bay, but it doesn't seem to be for this one. I dare you to get in front of me so I can shoot this at you. There we go. <laughs> but it looked like the shot fired wide left of him. Yeah, here's where you gotta use all kinds of new thinking right here. Ugh. Oops. Man, I'm not off to a good start here. And that one little shortcut right there ain't gonna help either. It really isn't. This is pretty much the fastest way to go. Ooh. Oh, finally got back in first place, at least for now. See if I can just grab a missile. And maybe if I could pull off the simultaneous balloons here. No, not quite. And yeah, it would it would high be highly recommended to do drifting right there, but I prefer the braking just so that I can have enough um, time to get to where I'm trying to go. But sometimes it just doesn't work out that well for me when it comes to drifting. It may for like huge experts of this game, but I'm not that well seasoned for it. <laughs> but I still consider this game really, really fun to play for just um, casual racing. Also, the soundtrack is really good. And you could say that I have that I have a lot more um, admiration for the music in this game than Mario Kart. Probably because I've played this much longer. <laughs> Alright, back to a hovercraft course. And man, is it not going to be that pleasant as you get Pirate Lagoon, which has a lot more twists and turns. Hopefully I do well with this. Should probably save up some of the rocket balloons I collect just in case I really start to trail big. But that's okay. <laughs> yeah, now I gotta go this way. <laughs> Kinda forgot about that a second. <laughs> I don't wanna bump into one of the rocks right away. If you were wondering what I was doing right there. Oh come on! Yeah, good thing I saved one of those, otherwise I would have had to really, like, restart the race, because I would have been really stuck on that rock. And I don't know how Crunch stole that one rocket balloon from me, but I really hate that. 
And I just pressed the button for the magnet. I don't know why it didn't work. Oh, come on, Conquer. Let me just get in front of you already. Can I make it over this this time? Yes. Oh, man. Yeah, I just don't like how the adjusting has to, like, how it has to, like, stop for adjusting when you try to land. I don't do that. It's like the game does it for me. <laughs> That's the one thing that, that kind of ticks me off about it. But I'm going to use this for backup, and I'm not going to take any chances with that. I don't want to risk getting stuck, so I'll just do this. Oh, <laughs> just got it. <laughs> Maybe it would not have aimed for me as when I was that far off to the side. Wow. Can't believe I avoided that missile. <laughs> that was very, very close. But now we get to do... <laughs> my favorite course of this world. <laughs> Which requires the most balloons to enter, probably because they want you to have the most balloons necessary to do the fun courses of the world. <laughs> And you get the same music as Pirate Lagoon again. I don't know why, but I consider it not that bad. And I want to fall in the water. It'll slow me down, like it always would. Forgot the zipper was on that far left side. Yeah, no, I gotta have opposite thinking when it comes to doing this. But. I kind of wanted to do this in a semi-blind perspective, <laughs> since I don't play Adventure 2 very much. <laughs> Even though it may seem like I'm doing very well here, that's probably because we're not in the Silver Coin Challenge, and I'm not trying to think really hard about where the coins are. It's like that. <laughs> don't know how I avoided that one green balloon right there, but <laughs> I'll take it. This one. All right. And it's boss conquering time. Hopefully I can beat him in one try. I know he's one of the toughest in all. Challenge you to a race. <laughs> I really like that kind of saying out of him. <laughs> so this will involve a lot more right turning. <laughs> Don't you dare get that kind of head start on me. Whoops. I'm not gonna restart right away. That was only one mishap. Wonder if I should just missile him. And since he's leaving behind only the spikes, they're not that threatening. They're easy to avoid. They really are. I just need to missile him a couple times and I'll be okay. There we go. I don't know if I'll get in front of him right away. Oh! And, and I don't know how I missed that rocket balloon. And I missed that missile balloon very badly. Oops. I'm gonna have to restart. Yeah, he got me off to a really bad start in that first few seconds. Right. Yeah, I tried to get on over to the side as quick as I could so that I wouldn't hit that, and he did it again. Ugh. Man, oh man. It's like he's just placing them at the most um, inopportune places. Ugh. Oh, look at that jump! I'm like, Can I, this should be an easy aim right here. <laughs> yeah, I'm definitely gonna get double rocket here. And no, I don't mean team rocket. <laughs> Ooh. Besides, Team Rocket's full of evil. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? Good job. If you don't, <laughs> I'll just say it. It's from the early Pokemon series. 
Woo! Really like that jump right there. I should keep this homie missile for backup. But he's way too far behind me. It doesn't look like he's gonna have enough speed to get back up to me anyway. And I like that. Yeah, I got this. <laughs> Yeah, I definitely would have got this episode done in under 10 minutes if I wouldn't have restarted. Alright, <laughs> that'll be done in the next episode. And boy, am I... Really not looking forward to that. I'm not. Gonna, I'm really gonna admit that. <laughs> Silver coin challenges for Sherbert Island in Adventure 2 are really tough, from what I remember. So, hope you all look forward to that, but I'm not. <laughs> Thank you all for watching, though. This has been the Twiking, and this has been Diddy Con Racing Adventure 2. I will see you, good friends, in the next episode for Diddy's searchings of silver coins on this beach. Have a great day. So long.